Hello guys! Welcome to another exciting episode of The Protestant Way. I am in a bad mood because the last two times I tried recording this video that I'm about to make, the mic wasn't working. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of like a, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm glad it's working, but unfortunately that, the gladness is overshadowed by unyielding rage! The mic wasn't working last time, and I really hope it's working this time, because I'm gonna be mad if it doesn't. So, <clears throat> hello, um, today we're going to be talking about my future, and about my high school experiences, because, GOD, they couldn't work the first time I did it! So, I'm gonna talk about my high school experience, like, as far as, like, what, what I want to do. So, all throughout high school, I was very nonchalant about what I wanted to do when I got out of school. I still am, because I have no idea what I want to do. And that made people upset, like guidance counselors and teachers and stuff, because they're like, well, you have to have a plan after you go out of high school. Are you going to college? No. Why aren't you going to college? Because nothing interests me. Well, you should get to college anyway. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't waste thousands of dollars just because if I don't know what I want to do. If I had a plan in action that I wanted to continue follow, I would have went to college, but I didn't. And that's okay. You don't have to go to college to be successful in life. I mean, granted... Yeah, I'm sure it helps, but that's not the point. You don't need to because uh, college is important, yes. I'm not going to say that all of you people going to college are wasting their time. I'm just saying that if you don't have a specific plan in action and you don't know what you want to do, college is a waste of time. Maybe you got to figure out what you want to do first before you go off to college. And unfortunately, my guidance counselor never understood that. She didn't like that I didn't want to go to college, which I found it hilarious because I made her mad a lot. Um, I assume. She got really frustrated, frustrated with me because she, my grades weren't always the best, and that's because I didn't care. I never applied myself because it was boring. If something interested me, like my psychology class, like any history classes I had, uh, <clears throat> even biology was somewhat, somewhat interested, interested me. Any class that interested me, I always apply myself in. But classes like math, most science, uh, pointless classes, and stuff like that didn't interest me. Didn't interest me, so I didn't do it. Like, I didn't, well, I did it, but I didn't do it very good, as well as I could have. She would always calm me down, she'd be like, my goddess counselor would always calm me down with my bad grades and say, hey, you're gonna get these up, right? And I'd just be like, oh, probably. I mean, I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. Because I never really concerned myself with grades. I mean, I was trying my best. Well, not really. Never mind. But like, my... But she just kept bothering me about my grades. And I understand that she's supposed to help. But, you know, our school didn't wasn't really that great for helping students. I mean, my best friend Scram died. And he was put on like, not like the... Not the, like the suicide watch list, but like the, um... What's it called? Like the, uh, the, the list that, uh, like, if someone dies in your family, you're supposed to, like, the school is supposed to watch out for you and make sure you don't get into any trouble or you don't need someone to talk to or whatever. Yeah, they didn't do crap for my friend. They really didn't. Um, even he said that it felt like they didn't really actually care, which they probably didn't because, you know, our school system is so horribly messed up. Oh, we, we'll stop bullying! Stop out bullying! Hmm, yeah, that doesn't work. No, no. Not one incident, not one incident in my school that I've been aware of was, was prevented because we stomped out bullying. Um, no. There was so much bullying going on. But, you know, it was only the more popular kids doing the bullying and the people who were involved in sports and we wouldn't want them to get in any trouble, so we'll just let them off with a warning. Right. Slap on the wrist, you know, don't worry about it, you're fine. Meanwhile, the other people that aren't popular and getting picked on probably weren't, uh, are probably depressed and, like, hate themselves because they're being picked on. But no, no, we'll, 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 we'll deal with that later. Yeah, I mean, it's sure it's not that important. Ah, <sighs> anyways. So, my teacher called me, well, not my teacher, my, my guidance counselor called me down and she asked me if I was going to take the SATs. I said, no, because I'm, I'm not planning on going to college. And she said, well, if you go to college, you're probably not going to 
Uh, she didn't say exactly like this. She was very subtle. Like, each time I went down there, she hinted at it, but she never said it flat out. But, like, she, like, you know, if you don't go to college or whatever, you'll probably amount to nothing. And, like, your grades aren't that great, you should, you'll should you probably amount to nothing, you know, or you won't pass the keystones. Which, if you don't know what the keystones are, they're, like, a standardized test in Pennsylvania that you need to pass. Well, I wasn't, like, a, like, my class was just, like, the guinea pig, so we didn't have to pass, I guess. <clears throat> so, um, she was like, you won't pass the keystones, which I did. Now, normally, I would... I, like, she said I wouldn't amount to anything in life. It, essentially, that's what she said. So, normally, by normal rules of andrification, I should want, I should want to prove her wrong by doing something with my life. But for some reason, I can't help but think that maybe she's right, and that anything I do will be just a f f f wasted effort. I don't believe that. Oh, I tell myself I don't believe that, but back in my mind, just rolling around as I'm making YouTube videos, as I'm writing my book, as I'm doing whatever else that I can to prevent myself from having to work someplace I hate. Because that's what this is. Like, this channel, my other channel, my book, this all so I don't have to do something I hate. I enjoy doing videos. I enjoy playing games and making videos like that and editing. I enjoy writing, but... And I want to make sure I do something I enjoy in life, something I feel fulfilled in, something that I find pleasure in, something so I don't end up like, I don't end up someone who hates their job for some for a reason that I don't want to end up unhappy. The most important thing you can be in life was happy, is happy, because if you're not happy, then what's the point to life? Now, granted, we're all we're always going to have little. Little moments of sadness here and there, like if we lose a loved one, or if we, um, you know, just, you know, just regular s depression stuff. And that's fine. I don't care. I mean, I'll deal with that as long as I can, as long as I know that I'm doing something I'm, I love doing, and I'm happy doing it. That's what I want to do. I don't want to end up like someone else that doesn't like their job. So, pretty, basically, anyone who tells me that this isn't a job, like, this channel, my gaming channel, and, or like my, uh, my book isn't a job, I don't care, because to me it is a job. They're not making money anytime yet, and he's, like, yet, but they will, they can, they could, so I'm gonna focus my time while I still have time as a kid, or as a kid, like a young adult, that I can, like, push, put my money into, like, put my time and effort into that, and kind of help that grow, and then, like, if that fails, then I will go get a full-time job. But right now, I'm just going to continue working part-time for a little bit, probably for, like, another year. I'm going to look for another part-time job. But I want to be able to still focus on my channels and my book, so that way I can have another alternative to actually working in a fat dream my entire life. And editing videos is a lot of work. Even just, like, even, like, well, we're playing Left 4 Dead on my other channel, and uh, even just like going through and finding, like, because I'm not editing any parts of those, I'm just cutting each part out of the hour long video and then putting it, like, and splitting it apart and stuff like that. Even doing that takes a while because you have to watch the entire thing so you know, like, when to split it and stuff, and that takes a lot of work. I mean, you wouldn't think it would because it's just like splitting, uh, remove, save, split. Splitting, remove, save. It, that's all it is, but it takes a lot of, of time. And then and then you have my videos that I do that I edit heavily on. And that takes, that could take anywhere. A three minute video could take me up to two hours to do. Luckily, I've gotten really good with the three minute videos that I do. Which is kind of like, I'm not going to go into detail. But it's kind of like putting two clips together and editing so the timing's perfect. I, I've gotten good at it, so it only takes me about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, but it used to take me almost two hours, so I'm getting better. So, it takes a lot of time, and people don't really see that. But so, and I'm not even all that popular on YouTube. I only have 127 subscribers. So, I mean, I'm still putting that much work into my video. So, what I wanted to say was that I was told I wouldn't amount to anything, and you know, who knows, I might not. But until 
I until I prove her wrong or myself right, I'm not gonna quit. And you can think about that for a little bit because that is very inspirational. Kinda, I don't know. I just say things and just hope they make sense. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. And uh, if you want to see the new series I'm doing, it will be over here maybe. If I can figure out how to do that on my other on this channel. Uh, if you want to find, if you want to check out my game channel, it's AJ Gaming, and then uh, that's it. So I will link that in the description below. It's also one of my featured channel things on my profile, so you can just click my name and then just do that. So, anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great day.